I often get that I look like Brad Pitt. I get it all the time. I don't personally, I don't see it. Uh, here's a picture just for comparison. Of course, you know, this is him today. I don't look like him today. I get that I look like him in his prime. I just find it interesting. Um, today we're gonna watch Blind Dating by Celeb Lookalikes on Nectar. It's scary because these women are obviously celebrities with professional makeup artists, so uh, it's a lot of pressure for these girls, I feel like. <laughs> Here's the thing, is this gonna be like one of those uh, sort of scenarios where someone thinks they look like someone, but they don't? Like at the beginning of this, I said I, said I look like Brad Pitt. Obviously I do, so like that wouldn't be the case for me. It's just like some people, like the girl in Love is Blind or whatever, when she's like, I look like Megan, people tell me I look like Megan Fox. And then like she didn't at all. And they like almost got married because of that. <laughs> Like, is this gonna be one of those scenarios? I guess we'll find out, you know? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm really nervous. There's obviously a lot of beautiful pictures I'm seeing right now, so I can only imagine what the ladies behind the curtain look like. Usually whenever people say someone looks like somebody else, um, they're always wrong. Every- That's, see, that's what I'm saying. Except for me, of course, at the beginning of this. Where I go, if I'm ever in like a public space, I always get either like primetime Deion Sanders- or Oh yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That actually is pretty wild. When he was younger. From time to time, I'll get Tyree Kill, maybe depending on how I'm wearing my hair. The people who tell me that are usually like white males. So like, obviously I have to take that with like a grain of salt because I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, so now I feel like a dumbass for saying, yeah, dude, totally. Yeah, I recognize generally all the women. Crazy that this one is just a cartoon. <laughs> what's her face from Scooby Doo, right? Right? Velma? No, not Velma. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Clementine. That's her name. No. Hi, my name is Sunny, and my doppelganger is Jada Pinkett Smith. Hi, my name is Chase, and my doppelganger is Ice Spice. What's up? I'm Chase. My doppelganger is Ice Spice, and you ain't even a fart. I'm ripping poops in my diaper. What do you mean by that? She's got a lot of fecal-based bars, does she not? It's a lot of fecal matter in her lyrics. Hi, my name is Bria, and my celebrity doppelganger is Quinta Brunson. Hi, my name's Marissa, and my celebrity doppelganger is Emmy Rossum. Hi, my name's Malia, and my celebrity doppelganger is Madeline Klein. Hi, my name is Holly, and my celebrity doppelganger is Daphne. Bl Daphne! I, I knew it, see? I knew it. I said it at the same time as her. Okay, so just based on sound of voice, I have to now eliminate someone, correct? Mm -hmm. Is there any? She gotta go. Shout out to my man Will Smith, man. She gotta go. I'm gonna regret it, possibly, but we all saw in the media with the whole how she was disrespecting my man just off of that basis. I'm gonna have to give her the boot. <laughs> what? <laughs> because of something the lookalike did? That doesn't really make sense, does it? Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi girl. Oh, hello, hello. Hi. Love the necklace. Thank you. You're welcome. When I was younger, I used to- Um, I don't, I don't really see it. To keep box braids in, so I used to have them like her and set it off. And every time I had them, I mean, no matter where I went, it was like, oh my goodness, you look like Jada. You look like Jada. And I'm just like, no, I don't, guys. I think you're more gorgeous than her, actually, so. Aww, yeah. All right, dude. All right, I see what you're doing. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying, you know, he's, you already, he's, he's laying on the riz. You already reject her. You don't have to riz her up at, on her way out. That's kind of like a little messed up, isn't it? Isn't it? Damn, why'd I reject you? Fuck. Ah, oh, too late, I guess. But man, I think we could have been soulmates. Bye. Bye. Bye, y'all. I feel a bit bad, but you know, we, we move. We move. I'm curious of the group of celebrity doppelgangers you have left, who would be your celebrity crush out of them? Oh, there's not a right answer on the board here, but it's, it's going to be Madeline Klein of this particular selection. She's the one that I'm most physically attracted to. Probably followed by Miss Gallagher here. I wanna know what you guys kinda of do and if what you do lines up at all with any of your celebrity doppelgangers. <laughs> it's such a funny concept. Why would you wanna know if what they do lines up with the doppelganger? Why would that matter? It's called a doppelganger. Well, I don't know. I don't know why it's called a doppelganger. It's a weird fucking word, is it not? Doppelganger? Why is it called that? What was I just about to do there? Like, break break it down? 
do like a literary breakdown on the word doppelganger. I have no fucking idea where that comes from. Sounds German or something, doesn't it? Doppelganger! German. Doppelganger! An apartition of a living person. Literally double goer. That's what I'm saying. It's purely physical. It has nothing to do with career. There's no career doppelgangers. <laughs> This is your career doppelganger. I'm a barista and I make like UGC videos for like my day to day, but my hobbies are very much involved in the music world. I'm not a rapper like Ice Spice, but I have a lot of fun at karaoke. What's your favorite karaoke song? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Drop it right now. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, shooting some b ball outside of the school. <laughs> All right, Miss Brunson. Does that count as karaoke? Because karaoke should be a little embarrassing. It has to. Ha it has to be a little bit embarrassing. That's not embarrassing. Everyone knows the lyrics to that. Everyone can do that. Everyone can. You got to be a little bit vulnerable to to have a favorite karaoke song. What about you? I actually don't do anything like Quinter Brunson. I work as a project manager at a software company, but I think we relate because we're both have that dry humor. We're kind of funny and quirky. Okay, next. So my celebrity doppelganger is Emmy Rossum and she's in Shameless. I relate to her because I do take care of a pretty big family, but as for work, I definitely don't. I work in motorsports and esports and I'm a talent manager. So would you say you have that like tough character that she has in Shameless? Definitely. I think that's why people see a slight of a resemblance. I am a Twitch streamer, so I definitely don't do anything similar to Madeline Klein. <laughs> when you stream on Twitch, is it like you? Are you playing something and people are watching you no, play? No, it's, it's just me talking. Okay. What do you talk about? Whatever. Whatever the, whatever's going on in the world. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's probably going to choose her. He probably is, right? Because if you stream on Twitch and you don't do anything and you're just talking, I'm not saying she's not like funny or charming or her opinions aren't good, but like, you know, people watch me because I'm fucking hot. You know what I'm saying? You know, let's be honest, people aren't watching for my jokes. So I, it, people watch because they, they, like I remind them of Brad Pitt, we have similar auras, in his prime, of course. Fight Club Brad Pitt, like similar bodies, similar aura. That's why people watch this. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm not saying, you know, I'm saying the clues are there. Mystery detective here. So I don't solve mysteries. Well, I mean, I kind of do. I hang out at Universal Studios with her a lot in the Scooby Gang. Is she like a, she acts as her? Because that could be interesting because then she could actually look like her, but she's a cartoon. It's hard to not look like a cartoon. You could just have orange hair and then you look like her. I also have another job, which is in high end fashion. Okay, that's nice. Okay, yeah, if you guys could give dating advice to your past self, What's the advice you would give? The number one advice I would give myself is just Is <laughs> look for guys that are more full shits, not just farts. Follow your gut because you know what you want. Don't just keep pretending to like not see the signs. Like read the signs, girly. Read the signs, girly pops. Okay, Quinta. The number one advice I would give my younger self is to be yourself because that's the only way you're gonna get closer to finding the right person is showing up as yourself each and every time. I would say just have fun with it. I mean, there's been so many times where we, I go into a date and I'm like, oh, what if they don't like me? What if I don't like them? It's like, just have fun, go, enjoy the time. Maybe meet a friend if nothing else works out. Learn more about yourself, learn more about another person. It's never a bad thing. I feel like that's decent advice. I feel like people maybe, people put too much pressure on dating, you know? I mean, it can be kind of, I mean, I've been dating in a long time, but it can be kind of like miserable, obviously, but for, for the most part, it's like you're just meeting new people and getting out there. But you know, I guess there's anxiety and stuff like that. But I just feel like what I, what I mean is that people, when they set up dates, they're like, this is gonna be my lifelong partner. And if it's not, I'm gonna be very upset, you know, before even meeting them. When really you should be like, this person is just a fart. They might be the shit, but right now they're just a fart and I'm just down to pass some gas. I would say I have phases of dating. I usually only date when I'm in a good place mentally. I know within like the first or second date if I'm gonna see that person again. So I'm staying open-minded. I usually end up going out with a new person, but it's always worth it to me because I'm just learning about myself. So I do date a lot, but it's for good reasons. For research purposes. Yes, for research yeah, purposes. <laughs> Mrs. Gallagher. Hi. Oh my God. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I'm scorned. Like, I think I'm burned right now. I think uh, whenever someone asks me on a date, I think they have bad intentions, which is probably like not the best thing to say. So maybe some unpassed trauma that hasn't been. I'm going to yet. therapy. Scorned is a great fucking word. Oh, I don't think she used it in the right way. I think she meant scarred. So maybe some unpassed trauma that hasn't been. I'm going to yet. therapy. You're Yay. in your healing. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy my time by myself, so I don't- I don't know why it's so funny, like, 
<laughs> it's so funny when they show the image and the and then you just hear the voice. I feel like it's her actually saying this shit. <laughs> and I don't know why her face is just so like serious right here. Like it switches from her like sort of smiling to like I don't fuck with what you just said. I disagree. I have to kind of feel like a good vibe in order for me to like actually want to leave my cat and not <laughs> and go on a date. <laughs> Where do you get hold the most that you guys look like this person and what type of person usually tells you you look like that person, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, I get told on a day-to-day -day basis by a lot of white people, but I feel confident that I do look like Ice Spice. I was actually Ice Spice for Halloween and that really upped my confidence because I thought nobody was gonna get it, but everybody got it. I'm told that I look like Quinta Brunson on the day-to-day -day by everyone. Friends, strangers, a lot of people. My family, sorry. I have, do you want an Altoid? <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking me or one of the girls? No, Thank you, you. Do you want yeah, one? Yeah, I'll take an Altoid. <laughs> sorry, they're about to fall out, so they're like warm because they're like in my pocket, so don't mind that. Love a generous girl. She's kind of weird, I like her. <laughs> Did he say weird? Yeah, yeah. Like, like oh, in a good oh, way. Yeah, good like way. That, yeah that's like a good My know. hands are too slippery right now. Like they're clammy because I'm oh. nervous. Oh, so you're I nervous? Can't even... I'm nervous too. It's okay. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening right now? She just have loose Altoids in her pocket? What? What's happening? What's going on right now? What happened to the question? <laughs> what about the question he asked? What's going on with these Altoids? You just have loose Altoids clanging around in your pocket, slimy Altoids. This guy's slipping off him. He can't hold on to the fucking Altoids because his hands are clammy. What's going on with these clammy Altoids here? You have a question to answer. She asked me, I was like, can she smell my breath from <laughs> Like, why did she ask me? Where are thank you? you? Where are you? Oh, hey, thank you, right thank you. We had a little hand touch right now. Yeah, sorry about spark. that. What was the question? I'm oh, so sorry. Oh, okay, who says I look like Fiona Gallagher? It's typically my family and I got it a lot whenever she doesn't wear makeup and she has really curly hair in the show because that's how I look. Naturally, I have pretty curly hair and then I straighten it a lot. Okay. I get it a lot in like Twitch chat or like TikTok comments, mostly like social media stuff, typically. I think I, to be honest, kind of look like her if you got like soap in your eye. Like I <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Like, I don't think it's like uncanny, but. Okay, so if we go on a date, I'm on a date with you, but if I like squint and tilt my head a little bit, it oh, might be Madeline Klein. Yeah, if you're okay. ordering a bunch of drinks for sure, I'm your crush. <laughs> I remember after I auditioned for her, I came to work and my coworker, she didn't even know I had auditioned and she's like, you look like Daphne today from Scooby-Doo. And I was like, that's what I was going for. Nailed it. Are there any celebrities that you look like that are not Daphne? I get Molly Ringwald. <laughs> cool. Uh, could you maybe like just list some humans that you look like so I just have a general sense? Molly Ringwald all the time. And I've gotten Bryce Dallas Howard. I have people, I'm a redhead, so people just tell me I look like redheads. Uh, when was your last relationship? See, that's the way it works with doppelgangers. It's just people just find two features. I know it happens a lot, like interracially, people are like, oh, you look that like that person that's the same race as you. But I, I also think like Kelsey gets like the blue eye and brown hair shit a lot. Like someone will just like list someone with blue eyes and brown hair, you know? And for me, it's like, I, I just nonstop get Brad Pitt. But in his prime, of course. Last relationship was in high school. So I don't even know if that counts. <laughs> How old are you now? 25. 25, okay. My last relationship was 2021. Okay. Mine was six months ago. Six months ago? Yes. Interesting. Yeah, we were friends for five years and then uh, gave it a go and then uh, he cheated on me. So that was tight. Oh. Sounds moment, not tight. <laughs> moment of silence for you. Thank you, thank you. Explains the weird Altoids moment. I get it. I get it now, you got scorned. Okay. Ah, oh, man, this is really rough. I'm gonna eliminate this person mainly because I think we probably, just from talking to her, have a lot of things that are more so similarly aligned. And I think sometimes when I'm like looking for a partner, I kind of want someone that isn't too similar to me. I want someone who has a different perspective. So, you know, they can point out some of my like flaws and kind of help me improve. I think that's a really big part of a relationship. So I'm gonna go with Miss Brunson here first. Ah, uh, okay, you really do look like her. <laughs> oh yeah, holy fuck. Holy fuck. This is a good celebrity, do celebrity doppelganger. Nice to meet you. You smell good. Thank you. It's a very particular. Oh, that's crazy, actually. That's fucking crazy. They really do look alike. Doppelganger. 
So I think I was expecting her to probably look the most like her doppelganger. Nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. So I think I'm going to go with this person just because of the rest of the bunch, they seem the most introverted, which is typically I would say the type of person I would go for. But clearly I'm here, so that hasn't worked for me. So we're gonna go with Ice Spice. What? Oh, don't let me regret this, Lord. Ah, <laughs> uh, does she? She <laughs> does. <laughs> Oh, nice man. to meet yeah, you. You're gorgeous. <laughs> thank oh. you, thank you. Oh, absolutely look like ice. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of wild. That's, it's not just the hair. It's like the facial structure kind of is similar. If she had orange hair, like it would be kind of uncanny, I feel like. You just look like a celebrity. Oh, and she has you know. really nice eyes. I hope you guys can like see her <laughs> eyes. I'm, I'm tweaking, right? Uh, but yeah, um, I mean. This is some regretful Riz. That's what this is. <laughs> Rizgret. This is this is some Rizgret. He regrets it. Damn. Oh man. Wish I could just go back in time to ten seconds ago. Said. Whoops. Right. I don't know. Well, it was nice right. to meet it was you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Good luck. They're all amazing. Aww, we love you. Bye. 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 Man, I'm already knowing my black community is gonna get on my head. I just eliminated three gorgeous black queens. I was shocked. I, did, I wasn't expecting her to look like Ice Spice, actually. Honestly, she kind of looks more so like the type of girl I, I tend to go for. But I was trying to make this decision not based on looks and just based on like their answers. And I think- Sure. Sure. The three girls left are like kind of weirdos and dorky a little bit. And I, I like that. <laughs> it's a compliment. It's a compliment. Wow. <laughs> Ms. Gallagher, six months ago, I think you said, was your, your last relationship. And now, six months later, where are you at? Do you think you're like ready to take on like dating again? Are you still like just trying to figure some stuff out? Or what's going on with you? Well, I mean, getting cheated on is not a good feeling. But um, now I'm at a place where, you know the saying, I know love exists because I, I exist? Have you heard that saying? Yes. Okay, that's what I strongly believe in. I feel like no matter how much someone can put me down, I know that I want love and I know that I love myself and I'm working towards just showing that love towards someone else. I've never heard that. I know love exists because I exist. Does that mean I love or I am worthy of love? Because it, it could kind of be taken as like, I know love exists because I'm that fucking sick. <laughs> it's like impossible not to love me. So that's why I know that shit exists. You can't not love me. You can pretend, but I know the truth. What is your usual type, like when you're dating, from your previous history? Because I guess I, I want to see the pattern, more so than just the lie of, I like this type of guy. Oh my god, wait, can I answer this first? Okay, because no. my best friend, okay. <laughs> my, <laughs> my best friend, she's like, I finally figured out what your type is, because if you like did a lineup of the men I date, it makes no sense. But she goes, Johnny Bravo, that's what your type is. They all look like they could play a serial killer on TV. <laughs> Girls seem to be into that look, dude. I don't, you know? I've only ever dated really nerdy gamer guys, to be honest. <laughs> but the older I get, I will say my type has changed a lot. Those relationships, I was younger, so now I kind of view dating as more for marriage, and I definitely still like nerdy guys, but also potentially I could see more of a provider. My type has typically been kind of what Madeline Klein next to me said. It was usually the, t the gamer, the nerdy gamer type, and the past couple years, I think I- Dude, nerdy gamers came up. Truly, truly, that never even used to be a type that <laughs> that, that women like would list. Nerdy gamer, that used to be shunned. They really came up in the last six years. It's crazy. I don't really have a type. I know that's also really cliche. I think because of like the area I grew up in, I, I developed definitely like an affinity for like Latina woman. So that means anyone who's like Hispanic has a tint of olive darker skin to like black women. Outside of the space, I would say my type is like women who are truthful and humble. <sighs> okay, I'll try not to think about it too much because I think I would get along just as well with all three of them. But yeah, I have to make the decision. We'll go with Miss Klein first. Like, I think she might like the other two girls better than me. <laughs> um, I don't blame her. It's so funny, the heat map for this video is just all the reveals. <laughs> Just people will just click on this video and then fast forward to the reveal. I want to see, does that person look like that? Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Awesome. I can kind it, of see if it. If you I had could... soap in your eye. Should I suck him? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. My cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 I see it now. It's, it's the bottom it's half like the, of the face, It's like yeah. the cheekbones kind of give, right? So I could see it. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's very true, actually. What are siren eyes? What are siren eyes? Well, it's more of a vibe than an actual definition. That's just everything now. It's more of a vibe than an actual definition. <laughs> that's so funny. I can't really explain it to you, just, it's a feeling. Cool, awesome, thanks. Feel good. Um, well, it doesn't feel good to eliminate people, but. Yeah, that was a crazy yeah, that was answer. Great. Was, I'm actually really I'm relieved. Really happy. No, no, that's not what I meant, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I think <laughs> yeah, that was gonna fucked up. How do you feel? I feel feel great. Feel great. Great decision. Come on, bro. I've gone through the process, and I think I've picked someone that I would get along the best with. But I think we would be actually really good friends. I think we have a, maybe <sighs> just I, got friends I don't I, <laughs> This guy's just digging himself deeper. Why are you shitting on her so hard? He's like unintentionally just shitting on her. Trying to be nice, but just shitting on her. Ice spice in the background, like. Somebody say shitting on her? No worries. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah, no worries. It's just getting worse. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. She is funny. I know before I said the looks thing, but like, you know, I'm sure the streams are great. I think we'll bring out Miss Daphne next. Oh man, yeah, okay. I can see it yeah. 100%. You even got the little outfit. I know, going. I know. I got my little ascot. Anyways, I probably have to do this, right? I love you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. All right, she did, I would say, I mean, it's a cartoon, so it's hard. Again, you just need to have red hair. So I think she nailed that one. She does look like Daphne. Yes. Of course. Yes, I'm kind of nervous though. Can we like build up some dramatic effect? Can we get like a drum roll? Yes, excited, yes. thank you. Yes. Whoa, thank you. How are you? Good. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I do see it. Do you? Yeah, do you I, see see it? It. I actually see it a lot. Do you see it? It's giving, it's giving feel. It? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> it's actually pretty crazy. Yeah, do we? I feel good. I, uh, I think we got along very well, and yeah. you seem very sweet, and I'm excited to meet you. I didn't expect to get this far, oh my gosh. You gave me the, the little mint, and yeah. I was like, oh, acts of kindness. You really had me at sweaty pocket mints, actually. You had me at clammy all to it. Kindness, okay. See, they're like She's starting off really good. Marissa, yes. okay, my name is Blessing. I don't think we officially met. Oh my in, gosh, like, yeah, yeah. nice like, to meet you. Her eyes are, she's looking at me too much. I can't, oh, you gotta cut okay. the camera. Oh, no, I'll okay. look this way, I'll look, okay. <laughs> I'll look over there. <laughs> Oh. You want to say it at the same time? Yes. Okay, I'm right. gonna. Three, two, two one. one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who jumped the gun? Ah. Well, I hope they go on a date and uh, fall in love and fall in love and get married. Because why else do we watch these shows? Everyone gets married from these shows, right? I would hope. Otherwise, that's gonna be pretty crushing to me. Who's your celeb doppelganger? Mine's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> All right, Nectar. That was funny. That girl did not look like Ice Spice. I don't know. I I kind of. I kind of saw it. The bravery it takes to say you look like some of these celebrities. I could never because imagine the person is like, no, you're not. Exactly. Exactly. It's a bold claim. That's why I say Brad Pitt because it's just, it's like unarguable. It's just like, obviously, that's sort of like obvious. But like, I, you know, sometimes I'll say Jacob Elordi and people are like a little bit kind of iffy about that one. But even though that one's like pretty close too, I get Austin Butler a lot too. <laughs> Feels insane to watch this without Cody. Oh my God, it's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nectar. I'm sorry. The lore just runs too deep at this point. I'm showing up in every single comment section. The lore is too deep. I gotta stop, but I can't stop. Can't watch this without Brad. That's what you. <laughs> That's what you guys have to start saying. Can't wait till Brad watches this. Can't wait till I react to this with Brad. Can't wait to watch Brad react to this. I'm gonna wait till Brad watches this. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, here's a here's a choice for you, actually. Here's you can take an uh, this is an actionable thing that you can let me know. If you think I look more like Brad Pitt, then comment. If you think I look more like Christopher Walken, then like the video. All right, thanks. You know, people watch me because I'm fucking hot. You know what I'm saying?
don't know what I feel, but I feel unsteady. I'm ripping poops in my diaper.